We all have dreams and goals that we want to accomplish. We know God has put in our heart to start a business, to help build an orphanage, or to help send our children to college, but we don't have the resources, the position, or the influence to do it. It seems as though we're limited, but the scripture says, the wealth of the ungodly is laid up for the righteous. Other versions say that it will be given or transferred to the righteous. You may not be able to accomplish your dreams on your own. What is in your heart may be too big for your bank account. You have the vision. You want to leave your family better off, but you don't have the position. The good news is that a transfer is coming. God doesn't give you the vision without having provisions. He's already lined up the transfers, good breaks and divine connections. Because you put God first, you're faithful, you're generous, and you're good to others. God says he's going to take from those who are not using their resources in a positive way. They're not using their influence or their means to help mankind. They're only focused on themselves, and he's going to transfer that into your hands. It's going to be out of the ordinary, where you have the means to accomplish things you've never dreamed. You can leave an inheritance to your children's children. You can expand that business. You can support a girl's home and you can move into a nice neighborhood. But here's the key. You don't have to chase the blessing. When you chase after God, the blessing will chase you. These transfers will track you down. The scripture says that when you honor God, his blessings will overtake you. One version says they will catch you by surprise. You won't see it coming. You never dreamed you could pay off your house or send your children to college. Then suddenly, a transfer comes, a promotion comes, an inheritance, a business opportunity arises. You never dreamed you'd be running your department at work. What happened? <laughs> you came into a transfer. God took you from the back to the front from renting to owning, from not having enough to having more than enough. This transfer is not just material things, it's also influence and prestige. People who didn't give you credit or value your ideas will see you in a new light. Just keep doing the right thing and being your best. They may discount you now, but a transfer is coming. The day is coming when you'll be in a position of honor and influence. It's going to happen suddenly. You couldn't make it happen on your own, but it's in the hands of God. My brothers and sisters, you may be going through hell right now. That is the truth. We've just gotten out of pandemic, and a lot of people are struggling at this very moment. The fact of the matter is you must accept the reality that God the Father the creator of heaven and earth is trying to mold you and transform you. God wants to change you into what he has declared as his purpose for your life and that which he spoke about in his written word. That word says you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves you. That's Romans 8 verse 37. You are the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. That's Romans 3 verse 22. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You have the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all over the power of the enemy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You really are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, the rich and not the poor. You, my brothers and sisters, are indeed what God's word says you are. You are to appropriate what the Word says you are and what the Word says you have. It involves more than just believing and receiving. You've got to be able to persist and move forward in the will of God for your life. Your persistence must continue even when everything seems to be falling apart and when it looks like nothing is turning out right. Stop whining. Learn to stand up under pressure. Set the vision of God before you like a flint and move forward full speed ahead with the plan of God. I don't care how many times the lights get cut off. 
I don't care how many times the water and the heat are turned off. I don't care how many times the rent is overdue. I don't care if you don't have a car and have to use the bus to get from point A to point B. It doesn't matter if you have to eat red beans and rice three days a week just to survive. Forget the dumb stuff. This is a fight for your future. You may be feeling that today, but here's the good news. You're not alone. It's not your battle. God is fighting for you. So when the storms rage like they have in the past weeks, don't worry. God controls the wind. He overrides every negative force. There is no storm that is too strong that God can't calm. No giant that is too big that he can't defeat. If you trust that he will get you through, you're definitely going to see the victory. Abraham was 75 years old when God promised him to become a great nation. Then he believed and stood in faith for 25 years before the birth of his son Isaac. You can imagine how he must have felt many years later when God told him to take Isaac to the top of a mountain and sacrifice him on an altar. Isaac was the fulfillment of Abraham's dream. He didn't understand it, but he was obedient. He passed the trust test, and just as Abraham was about to follow through, God spoke today's scripture. There will be times when God asks us to put our dream at the altar. Sometimes the closed doors and the disappointments are simply a test. God wants to see if we will trust him when life doesn't make sense. Will you do the right thing when it's hard? When you do as Abraham did and pass the true test, God will not only give you the desires of your heart, He will do more than you ask or think. And you just need to remember that, regardless of what you're going through. Here's a prayer for today. You can just follow along while I pray. Father, I thank you that you are my God and worthy of my unconditional trust. Thank you that when there are things in my life that I don't understand, times when you ask me to put my dreams on the altar, I am still going to trust you. When I can't pay the bills, when I cannot find the money to put food in the house, you are there and you are always going to be present regardless of what happens on this earth. I thank you, Father God, that you're always there and you always make a way. And I declare that I will pass this true test in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for tuning into the Godly Motivation channel. I hope that this word has blessed you and I hope that I have earned your thumbs up on this video. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to subscribe and share your views in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning into Godly Motivation and have yourself a truly wonderful day.